So in this segment, uh, we'll look at uh, several topics in switch mode inverters uh, that we haven't uh, talked about earlier. And uh, these uh, topics are on six-step operation, uh, three-level inverters, uh, bi-directional power flow in these systems, and uh, matrix converters. So just to put things in perspective, we are looking at this uh, voltage link system where we have uh, utility on one side, load on this side, although the roles get reversed, and we have voltage uh, link uh, in the form of a capacitor in the middle, and then we have converter one and converter two. And we are mainly looking at this part of the circuit, but uh, eventually we'll look at the whole thing here. So uh, in these uh, inverters, uh, consisting of six uh, transistors and six diodes, uh, we could operate in a square wave or so-called six-step mode, where each, uh, each power pole is on for 50% of the time. Uh, so if you think of this as the, uh, the, the switching time period over here, uh, uh, in, of course, in, this is in radians uh, in omega t, in terms of omega t, so it's 2 pi here. And you can see for half the time, the switch, uh, the transistor corresponding to pole A is high, and uh, so uh, the output is uh, equal to Vd. And this here, the transistor, top transistor is off, uh, so, and the bottom transistor is on, so the output voltage is zero here. And the same thing is done for phases B and C, where they are displaced with respect to each other by 120 degrees. So you can see that uh, the line-to-line -line voltage, VAB, uh, which is the difference of uh, VAN and VBN, uh, that's plotted over here. And uh, you can see that it's a 120 degree pulse every half cycle. Uh, one pulse in the positive direction and the other one in the negative direction like this here and there's a 60 degree interval during which the voltage is zero. So uh, we get this rectangular waveform and uh, by Fourier analysis we can see that uh, the peak of this uh, line to line voltage is 1.1 V sub D. So this is a way to obtain a higher uh, output voltage on the three phase AC side for a, from a given DC uh, bus voltage but the consequences that, uh, bad consequence I should say, is that we also get uh, harmonics uh, in this output voltage, which are uh, you know, inversely proportional to the harmonic order over here. Then we also have three level inverters, which can then be uh, extended to multi-level inverters beyond three phases, uh, beyond three levels I should say. So. Uh, we'll see the operation of these uh, uh, three-level inverters here. Uh, this is a good way to achieve uh, uh, higher voltage rating uh, also uh, without having to uh, connect uh, many switches in uh, uh, series. Uh, so here you can see here that uh, uh, if you want, uh, if you turn both of these transistors on here, then uh, in leg A, then VA0 with respect to the midpoint of this uh, DC link, which is obtained by connecting uh, two equal capacitors over here. And this voltage is uh, one half the voltage over here. So this VAO, when both of these uh, upper transistors are on, uh, is equal to uh, uh, V sub D over two. Uh, assuming that this voltage here is Vd over 2 and this voltage here is Vd over 2. Similarly, when uh, both the bottom transistors are, uh, so these are turned off and let's say these both, both of these bottom transistors are on, then in that case, this VAO is equal to uh, minus Vd over 2. And then uh, it's possible to get another voltage level uh, where let's say that we turn uh, let me take all this ink away here. Uh, and uh, uh, if we turn this transistor on and this transistor on, then VAO with respect to 
output voltage of this with respect to O is equal to 0. So how do we justify this? When both of these transistors are on, if the current is in this direction, it will flow through uh, this diode and this transistor here like this over here, okay? And uh, let me see if I can change the color in color here to green. So if the current is in this direction, I, I'm sorry, it didn't change. <laughs> if the current is in this direction, it will flow through like this over here. So uh, we can make sure that this point A, uh, having turned both of these transistors on over here, this point A gets connected to this point O, and we have VA O equal to zero. So you can see here that we have three levels. Uh, this could be zero, could be VD over two, could be minus VD over two. So in synthesizing the output voltage waveform, which we desire to be in most cases sinusoidal, having these three levels available uh, reduces the, the harmonic content in the output voltage. So that's advantageous. And the other thing is that we can connect uh, these two transistors in series with, uh, without uh, great difficulty here. So uh, in these uh, voltage link structures, uh, you know, we have seen that this side could be made up of uh, diode rectifiers, for example, uh, in, in which case the power flow can only be from left to right. But if we desire the power flow to be bidirectional, as can be the case in regenerative braking over here, or if this is a windmill over here, and a wind turbine, or wind generator, let's call it, and this is the utility, then we want this power flow to be this way here. Uh, so, <clears throat> so you can clearly see that uh, power should be able to flow from right to left in this case, where in case of uh, electric drives, in case of uh, uh, their motoring mode of operation, power flow would usually be in this direction. If this is a uh, machine, let's call it in general, uh, power flow would be in this direction, in the motoring mode, and in the regenerative mode, when you want to recover energy from the kinetic energy associated with the machine and the inertia, then the power flow could be from right to left here. Okay, so uh, in that case, we cannot be using a diode bridge rectifier over here. Rather, we can again have it to be a switch mode uh, converter, just like the switch mode converter over here. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, on an average basis, uh, we can replace uh, all six uh, power poles that we have by ideal transformers uh, with their controllable uh, turns ratios, uh, depending upon the duty ratio of operation. And we can also look at what happens, uh, you know, on a per phase basis on the left side and on the right side. You, you can see here that uh, this is the, the sinus input voltage, let's say, uh, on, the, on the left side coming from the utility, for example. And uh, then this is the voltage that is uh, generated across here, and then similarly on the uh, on the right side here, uh, this may be the, the back EMF. I should just point to this here uh, of the machine, and then this inductance of the machine, and then this voltage here corresponds to what is being produced on this side here. So, and uh, these two are isolated. Uh, you can think, uh, not isolated is not the right word, decoupled. Uh, by this uh, capacitor here, if you will. So in steady state, of course, if you ignore losses, the power flowing in has to be power flowing out over here, real power. But the reactive power could be individually controlled on the left side converter as well as in the right side converter. Uh, the other class of uh, converters are so-called matrix converters. And uh, the reason they are called matrix converters uh, is that they consist of a matrix of switches. And the switches shown here are really uh, bidirectional switches in the sense that the current can flow like this here or like this over here. So uh, when 
both transistors are turned on, the current can flow in either direction. And when both transistors are turned off, then uh, it, this switch is open. Okay, so it's really a bidirectional switch that we need. And uh, so the characteristic of these matrix converters is that uh, they do not have the storage elements. Like in a voltage link uh, system, uh, we have a storage capacitor in the middle. In the current link system, we are mostly using thyristors. Uh, we have an inductor in series with two converters. Uh, but in this case, uh, there is no storage element as such, although inductors and capacitors um, are required for filtering purposes. Okay, so to look at these would is that uh, you know we have a voltage source on one side here, and uh, we have uh, you know this load, and because of the inductance, we can think of as a current source. So <clears throat> this voltage source is being connected to this current source, and uh, there's no storage in the middle. So any any uh, power coming in from one side has to be going out on the other side. Okay, so so what we can do is uh, given these voltages shown on the left side, our role is to synthesize the voltages at the at the load terminal. These voltages over here. So by having appropriate duty ratios of these switches, uh, we can then synthesize uh, uh, this volt these voltages. So let's just uh, concentrate on one of the, uh, the output voltages, VA, and uh, we can think of uh, this matrix converter on each leg as a three, uh, three having three level inputs. You have three inputs, VA, VB, and VC, and by appropriate duty ratios for these three switches, which uh, connect VA, VB, and VC to the output V capital A, uh, by having appropriate duty ratio, we can synthesize VA. But we have to make sure that in the process, we do not short circuit uh, two of the input phases, okay? And uh, <clears throat> now as far as the, uh, the current is concerned, uh, we have, uh, we can think of these three currents, uh, which are associated with the load as the, as the input, and uh, we are then, by appropriate duty ratio of these switches, uh, creating this current I sub A uh, from the input. So uh, associated with, uh, 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 for, with these, uh, we have these uh, duty ratios over here, which make up uh, I A, okay? So we can also do power factor correction in the sense that uh, the load may have one power factor, whereas the power factor at the input side uh, could be different. And the power flow here, again, is bidirectional. It could be from left to right, or right to left. And uh, <clears throat> now we have to make sure that uh, uh, this current IA, if I may draw it as uh, a current symbol, a current source symbol like this here, this current IA always has a path to flow. So uh, we have to make sure that uh, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, these uh, three switches here which are associated with IA uh, allow a path for this current IA to flow. So matrix converters are uh, being seriously looked at uh, at this point. Uh, so that uh, brings us to the end of this segment where we had looked at some ancillary topics uh, in switch mode inverters involving a six-step mode of operation, three-level uh, topology, and which can be extended to multi-level uh, for uh, high uh, DC link voltages. Uh, we have seen bidirectional power flow in these uh, systems, and also we have looked at uh, matrix converters, which have uh, potentially the advantages, advantage of not having and a bulky storage element.